We hit the mid 70s and we love the 70s. We love it because we know it can mm -hmm. snow in yeah, mid April. That's right. Mid March, rather. And mid April, but for that matter. At, look at how cool Lonnie is oh, looking. Oh, Lonnie, Lonnie you're look looking super cool. Super cool. <laughs> Let's be real. It was, what, 2017 uh -huh. on this date, and we're picking up eight inches of snow. So, yeah, it happens. Happens to be today was picture perfect. You would think on a day like today, Dana and Dick, that Sheep Meadow would be filled with people. There's not a soul out there because it's all chained up. But you find any area of, like, open lawn, and you're going to find people gathering out there and just enjoying what is a spectacular day. It's got them feeling like, okay, spring is here. Well, officially, it's not here. Let's go to the graphics. I'll show you. You've got to wait five more days. Tuesday at 11.06 at night will begin officially springtime. Until then, boy, it's feeling like spring today. That will be changing, though, as we look ahead. Now, let's get to the live picture outside over New York City. It is 66 degrees. We wrote dining al fresco. You want to go dine al fresco tonight? Have at it. No problems out there. High temp to reach 74. You missed tying a record by one degree. The record of 75 was set in 1946. The sun sets tonight at 7.02, so you still have a little bit more daylight outside to enjoy this great day. What do you expect? Well, it's not going to be as nice tomorrow. Upper 60s, sure, so it's mild enough. It's not as warm as today, but upper 60s is well above average. But it comes with a little bit of a rain chance. It's just that. It's a little bit. It is not torrential rain. As for the weekend, you've got some weekend rain to deal with as well. But overall, the weekend is trending drier. I'll show you some. I'll give you my idea on rainfall amounts here in just a moment. But we'll go to the radar picture, and it's beautiful. I mean, still a great-looking night out there. The the wider picture shows you where the rain is that I'm watching. It's in the Ohio Valley, and if you watch that line push into the Ohio Valley, when it pushes into the western portion of Ohio, it's got reds and oranges flashing, so yeah, coming down real heavy. By the time it makes its way through the state, now it's fading away to yellows and greens, so it's weakening as it moves from west to east, and we will get a much weakened system by the time it gets to our area. The future cast shows you what it's going to look like. 2.30 in the morning, so 2.30, a little bit after midnight tonight, you could see some rain, and there could be some moderately heavy bouts of rain mixed in. By 8 a.m., here you are in the morning commute, there's not much out there, and by noon, a couple of drops in Ocean County, that's about it. Saturday, 11 a.m., you're back in the sunshine, Saturday looks good, the seven-day forecast will show you. 68 for your Friday comes with a shower chance, but it's not a lot of rain, about a quarter of an inch or less. Saturday, it's trending drier. It's not a 0% chance for rain, but I think it looks pretty good. 59. Then you get to Sunday. Sunday is St. Patrick's Day. It does come with a rain chance, but again, that's also looking like about a quarter of an inch of rain. So, you know, a grand total would be maybe half an inch or less. Then you get to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday kicks off spring. It's 36 degrees in the morning, not getting out of the 40s. 36 in the morning will feel like 28. And Wednesday morning, the first full day of spring, it's even colder in the morning, guys. So that is the way that we see it. It's a great day and a great night to be in New York City or anywhere in the tri-state. <laughs> We've all had a good one. Let's go back to you guys in the studio. Really, really nice. Thank you, yeah, Lonnie. Central Park is the place to be. Oh,